a YouTube Canadian Knife Guy here with something a little different today. Today we're going to be talking about some of the custom knives I make. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually have a full knife making shop on my property here. And for the last about year or so, I've been getting into doing some custom stuff and handmade stuff. All this is ground by me and handles are done by me, heat treats done by me, everything's done in house. So let's just take a look at some of these. This is a, this is a model I do, it's called the the camp knife, heavy duty camp knife, and it's uh, 200 thou, 1095 spring steel, stainless pin, stainless lanyard tube, I use G10 for the liners, and most of you guys know G10 as a uh, handle material, for example, this Spyderco Manix, that's G10 for the handle scales, and you can buy it in thin sheets, and I actually use it for the liners on my handles, it's a, it's one, it's a preferred product to use for, for fixed blade handle liners, and Everything's epoxy down, and this blade's taped up because it's up been hand finished and hand sanded, and I put my maker's mark on it. So I have a couple of those on the go. Here's another one I'm working on with uh, this handle. This uh, handle material is Bacote. It's a type of wood. I have the orange G10 liners, the Hunter Orange on this one. So uh, another camp knife on the go. This one's a little bit different, just where I have a bit of a, a dip here. So when you're holding it, now this handle hasn't even been started yet. You can see it's still just perfectly square, but when you're holding it that almost works as like a thumb ramp so this one I think is going to be really comfortable I'm excited to get going on this one and here's another another style that I'm working on this is a, a spear point blade and it's taped up sorry about that you can't really see what uh what I've done with it but it's a, a flat grind coming from about a quarter inch below the spine and it's got this finger choil in the front here so you'll be able to choke up and do the grip on it or also hold back on it so this one also I've started profiling the the handle but still got a lot of work to do on that again stainless this time I used 316 stainless pins and stainless lanyard tubes so here's one that I've had finished up for a while and it's my personal user so it's kind of uh got some scratches on it but same thing some nice cocoa ball this this piece was especially nice because uh you can see the grain of the wood kind of flows with the with the curves in the knife so once again stainless pins stainless lanyard tube the G10 liners and I got a little piece of paper here I guess I can show you that we do in fact get them pretty sharp again this one's a user so I could probably use some touching up but let me do that real quick to touch up my knives I just use these little ceramic rods a few passes on each side and we should have it back to pretty sharp so I take this one out and I beat on logs with it and chop with it. Just it's kind of like a test knife to see if my heat treat process is good. But you can see once you touch it up, it's just razor sharp. So that's a uh, that's one I made probably six months ago and it's holding up well. This is these are some knives I'm working. This is 01 tool steel 316. So this is a I started the grind on this one. I still got a ways to go, but this is just a nice little drop point hunter. I got these knives here. This is sort of a tactical design I'm doing. It's a tanto point, and I still gotta drill the holes in this. But it's another example of some stuff that I'm working on. I got a bunch more camp knives ready here, ready to be cut out, and they've been sketched on. And so you start grinding those. So thanks for checking out my video, guys. I'll update you more as the process continues. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks.